It's amazing, really. If you think about the start of a bank or any bank back in the day, 150 years ago, members of this community came together to create an institution where they could safely keep their money. And they took money in and they loaned some of that out. And I, and I remember looking back in the ledger book and the first deposit that was made here was a $10 deposit. And you fast forward 150 years later and this organization is still here, still very successful, still protecting people's money and still giving back to the communities. The things that we do, the things that we care about, the things that we're planning for are for the long-term success of all of our stakeholders. And that has tremendous meaning as a community banker. It's really something that I think everyone should be proud of. I believe in the bank. I believe in the bank's mission. I see the good things that we do in the community. And it really makes me proud to be a part of this, an organization like Franklin Stevens Bank. I think anywhere I go, I always hear someone say something good about the bank. The bank's done this. And, and it, for them, it's more the donations that the bank does. And, and knowing that if they need something, for a worthy cause, they can come to the bank and chances are they're going to get it. They can always depend on the bank. Um, I think that our customers are pretty savvy when it comes to knowing that the community banks are here to serve a purpose, focused on our customers, focused on our employees, and I see that that will be our future. And um, as long as we do that, I think we'll be just fine. It's easy to be a good banker in good times. It's really important to be a great banker in tough times. And I think that's what differentiates Franklin Savings Bank is our ability to create lasting relationships and really make a difference in the lives of our customers. Can we grow Franklin Savings Bank to a sufficient size where we are comfortable, that we can control our own destiny, where we can still satisfy the needs of the organization in terms of performance and earnings and capital, while also being able to set aside money to support our communities. You know, that's very important. Um, in this day where technology is changing every day, and we were one of the first banks to have a, have a website and have an internet presence, I think that that has really helped the bank grow. I think we do a great job at trying to keep up with it. I think relationships are always going to matter in banking at the end of the day. I think whether you're a millennial or you're a traditionalist or you're a baby boomer, there are times when you're going to need your community bank to be there to help you through a difficult financial transaction or help you buy a home or help you to retire successfully. You know, I really have a passion for Franklin Savings Bank and, and I love what I do. I love the people I work with. It's, it's just a, a comfortable, happy place to be. I think that Franklin Savings Bank will hold on to its roots though. I think that they will continue to build and grow one relationship at a time. It's, it's sort of a calling, if you will. It's more than just a job. You're here, you understand that the bank makes a tremendous amount of impact in the communities that we serve. You're part of that impact. Um, you're encouraged to be part of that impact. And that's, that's a special thing. It really is.